What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys, I was lucky. I just saw this drop from the Xbot dev, uh, which is, uh, this is the account Splinter Bank. But we do have, I guess, the first, the first ever SPS rental market. And SPS just got more utility is what the post says here. So I, I want to let you know, this is a third party, right? This is Xbox. So shout out to Siler and, uh, and Xbot for implementing this actually before the team does. And the team doesn't even have staking in, in uh, the mix just yet. So let me just go through the post and then I'll give some final thoughts before we, uh, before we wrap up here. So this is going to be a new rental service that will allow you to rent out or lend out your SPS, your staked SPS, uh, and for people to be able to go out and borrow it. So you can earn more on it during that time. So participate in more tournaments without uh, less upfront cost. This is for anybody who wants to borrow. If you've ever tried to participate in a tournament, but you didn't meet the staked SPS requirements, this is going to solve that problem for you. Now, keep in mind, we are expecting the team to have some kind of SPS uh, rental market available as well, but this is going to be the first third party market that we see pop up. And I'm curious to see how it actually plays out and what the pricing will be. That's probably the most important thing because this will probably be a smaller pool because oh, well, we'll get to, we'll get to that in a second. So um, participate in more tournaments. This is for the borrowers, for the lenders. Earn more from your staked SPS. So SPS rentals uh, boost your staking rewards with no downside. So I don't like, like absolutes, but um, I guess as long as you're not giving the tokens away, you should be all right. So as the lender, you keep about 20% staking rewards and governance voting power. So this is not you keep 20% of your staking rewards. You keep the 20% of your staking rewards, which is what you currently get for vouchers and for SPS. Keep in mind, you also get GLX, but that's not really factored into this 20%. That's an, uh, an additional amount. On top of that, you remain in custody of the tokens throughout the rental process. They they require posting keys of the lender account to automate delegations. Note that posting keys can't be used to transfer tokens. So in a way, I, I don't, I don't want to say this as an absolute, but as long as you're not giving out your active key, nobody can send your tokens from one place to another. And as long as they're staked too, even if somebody tried to unstake your tokens, for example, uh, there, there would be, you know, it's, seven to 28 day period where you'd get like 25% until you got all of it out and you'd be able to hopefully catch whatever you're trying to, uh, any, any kind of suspicious activity. So how do you get started? Well, both lenders and borrowers will need to have an Xbot token and at least one Splinterlands account connected to the platform. So lenders need to submit their posting keys on the account page. This, uh, this is needed to delegate the SPS on your behalf. And then for borrowers, for people who want to play tournaments, borrowers don't need to submit posting keys to pay for an SPS rental. You need X credits, which are worth one DEC each, you receive X credits by sending DEC in-game to our account Xbot Deposit. So if you guys want me to do uh, a tutorial on this, let me know. I'm not planning to, but if you think that it would be helpful, I'd be happy to, or maybe I can get Siler to come on here and actually walk us through the process again. But uh, just wanted to, to go over this so you can see how it is, or at least more so the the where I think this is going to push the rest of the market. And then when you go to, what about fees? Our fees are super simple. Borrowers don't pay any fees. Borrowers are paying for the, uh, the SPS that they are renting, but lenders do pay a 10% fee, which is deducted from the rental income. So what are the takeaway thoughts from this? Well, I, I, first of all, I love the fact that the third party applications, third party markets are really, really pushing the envelope here. We've always seen a lot of innovation happen, whether it's Peak Monsters, Splex, uh, or now Xbot doing a lot more outside of just the botting application with the, the challenges that they put in or like the practice mode. And now this SPS rental market. So keep in mind, you know, SPS staking requirements are going to be coming at some point in the future. We know that over the summer. Um, and with that, we're hoping that there'll be SPS rental markets available as well. Well, if we're going to see what those SPS rental markets look like now, I do wonder what the, or at least what I'm excited about to see is to see the overall market equilibrium price that we reach for SPS. Now, keep in mind, uh, one thing I wanted to mention earlier was the fact that you will need an Xbox token. So this is not going to be available to everybody. So the market sample size is going to be very small. But it does give utility, one, to the Xbot token, and two, for people that are already part of the Xbot ecosystem. And, you know, Darkest Knight uses it, is, is a huge fan of it, and has been raving about it to me nonstop. Uh, we'll tr I'll try to get him on uh, so that we can talk about his experience further. But, you know, there's there seems to be a lot happening here and a lot of utility given to the Xbot token overall. So, that being said, 
We're going to see more SPS utility come in in the near future with the SPS staking requirements. We are hopefully going to see SPS rental markets come in from the team. But the fact that this is here now really pushes the envelope and makes me excited for what we can get as a preview, I suppose, of the price or really just the value of SPS. Because the price, obviously, there's a price for SPS, but the value of renting out or renting SPS overall. Now, I've said that I think it's it's going to be relatively low. I think people will be able to get SPS for relatively cheaply if they're trying to rent it. I mean, you can buy it for relatively cheaply now too, but if you're trying to rent in the thousands, tens of thousands, then I think it's going to be a fraction of the cost people are expecting it to be or the, a fraction of the cost of buying it. But ultimately, we are going to find out exactly what that looks like now. Of course, market dynamics, supply, demand are all going to matter, and this is a very small sample size, but I will be following this just to see what it looks like when, uh, you know, when I guess impl implementation is live now, but when uh, we have a, a larger, a larger subset to work with and, and data sample. So that is all I have for you guys in this video. Just wanted to share this with you. If you're already an Xbox user, then you might already be aware, but if you're not and want to check it out, well, let me know how your experience is. <laughs> we'll go from there. I'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Have an amazing rest of your day. Take care.